Welcome to RPA Hub in this video we'll discuss UiPath recording. While automating business, you may often need to save a few actions which can be performed automatically, right? Well, recording is one such feature in UiPath, which will enable you to capture users' actions on the screen and then eventually convert them into sequences. The recorded projects can be then modified as per the user's need and can be used to replay reuse them as many times as the user wants. We'll discuss here how we can use UiPath recording practically. If you are visiting this channel for the first time consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon so whenever I will upload a new video this will be notified to you. What you will get from this video will discuss here what is recording. Manual and automatic recording. Types of recording with practical examples. Now let's start with what is UiPath recording. Recording is important functionality of UiPath Studio, enabling us to capture users' actions on the screen and translate them into sequence. It saves a lot of time when you want to automate business processes. During recording any action all the user interface elements are highlighted to ensure that you choose the correct fields. See this image here recording icon available to record and capture the manual steps which we are performing. There are five types of recordings available in UiPath Studio. Basic generates a full selector for each activity and no container. The resulting automation is slower than one that uses containers and is suitable for single activities. Desktop suitable for all types of desktop apps and multiple actions. It is faster than the basic recorder, and generates a container, with the selector of the top level window, in which activities are enclosed, and partial selectors for each activity. Web designed for recording in web apps and browsers, generates containers, and uses the simulate type slash click input method by default. Image used to record virtualized environments, such as VNC, Virtual Machines, Citrix, and more, or SAP. It permits only image, text, and keyboard automation, and requires explicit positioning. Native Citrix, is the equivalent of the desktop recorder, but for Citrix environments, only use this in your native Citrix automation projects. Now let's talk about automatic recording. UiPath Studio provides us with the facility of automatic recording of the actions. It saves lots of time and can easily be customized and parameterized. Followings are the activities that are generated automatically for the recordable actions. Click as the name suggests. It is automatically generated when we click on a button while performing basic or desktop recording and a link while performing web recording. UiPath Studio provides us the option to add a time delay before or after the action. Type into as the name suggests, it is automatically generated when we type in a text field or any editable UI element. UiPath Studio provides us the option to add a time delay before or after the action or between keystrokes. Check as the name suggests, it is automatically generated when you click a radio button or checkbox. UiPath Studio provides us the option to add a time delay before or after the action and select or unselect the checkbox. Select item as the name suggests. It is automatically generated when you select an item from a drop-down list or combo box. UiPath Studio provides us the option to add a time delay before or after the action and change the selected item. Manual Recording As we know that there are some actions that cannot be handled by automatic recording. They are called single actions or manual recordings. 
We can find these manual recording under the action toolbar of all types of recordings, basic, desktop, web and Citrix. Types of manual recordings. The followings are the types of manual recordings. Start and stop an app or browser. These manual recording or single actions enables us to open as well as close an app or browser. You can find these options in desktop and web recording toolbar respectively. Click. With the help of such kind of single actions we can record. Clicks on the desktop or a running application. Selecting an option from a drop-down list or combo box. Selecting a checkbox or a radio button. Type. These kind of manual recordings or single actions require input from keyboard. It includes key presses or keyboard shortcuts. Copy. As the name suggests, this single action enables us to copy a selected text from an open application or a web browser. The copied text can be used later in our project. Option of screen scraping, under copy menu, enables us to extract images or text from browser. Mouse elements. As the name suggests, it enables us to imitate mouse movements such as right-clicking or double-clicking. Windows elements. Such kind of single actions enables us to close the window or shift the focus to a different window. Text. Text manual recording enable us to hover over text to make tooltips visible for scraping. Right-click to make the context menu visible. Copy and paste text. Image. Image manual recording enable us to wait for a specified image to disappear. Let's open a WI application. This application has a deposit amount and withdrawal. In the deposit amount we can enter the details and generate transactions. Generally doing this activity for one transaction is okay but when we are performing the same activity again and again then definitely will take some time so rather than doing manually we can automate the process. When we select start recording so once you click on the start tab this will start the recording. First I want to launch this application hence selecting the start app which will restart the application whenever I will execute this code. Now next I want to enter detail in these text boxes after selecting the deposit so I will do automatic recording here. After selecting here you'll get two options one is my password and empty field so whenever you are using credential related thing always select this so that whenever you enter any input that will become an asterisk you want to clear out the field then simply click on this then enter the value. Enter some value in these text boxes and hit accept. Next I will switch the radio button and select withdraw. Again enter the value in these text boxes and hit accept this time. Now if we want we can also select these checkboxes whenever you select the checkboxes some UI related changes will appear. I'm 
we will capture the transaction item and populate to message box.so. Before clicking save and exit I want to close the app hence, I will select close app so that whenever I will run the code this application will be closed after execution. Next save and exit will save the recorded action. Save the code and execute the flow. Once the execution will start this will launch the application and enter the value. This will execute deposit and withdrawal both the code and at the end this will show a transaction number in the message box. The reason for not showing the transaction message in the message box is we have copied the text of the old transaction and now the new transaction is generated if we use the get text method that will work perfectly fine. Here I demonstrated desktop recording. In the next video I will cover web recording and CV hope this video will help you to understand the complete flow of desktop recording. See you in the next part of the video. Support the channel by giving your likes and subscribe to the channel.